Matt, welcome to the CBA Newsroom. Today's announcement sees the CBA in 15 years uh, in wealth management. Why have you made this decision? Well, first, let me say that these businesses in wealth management have been great for CBA shareholders and will continue to be so. Ultimately, we've made a decision that the best thing for CBA shareholders is for us to focus on our core banking business uh, and seeking to become a simpler and better bank and to demerge our wealth management businesses so they can continue to grow strongly and CBA shareholders will be able to participate in that growth, but that will be outside the Commonwealth Bank Group. Right, the, the context is clearly the Royal Commission and the political environment at the moment. We're seeing a lot of banks demerging or, or making uh, asset sales like this. Is, this. is this what's driving the decision? I think there's good reasons for why banks should own wealth management businesses. I think there's equally good reasons why banks shouldn't own wealth management businesses. The context has changed quite markedly over the last 10 years. Ultimately for us, we've formed a view that the best decision in the Commonwealth Bank's shareholders is to demerge the wealth management businesses, enabling our core banking business to become a simpler and better bank. You've talked about a demerger here in this um, announcement today. It's effectively, I guess, where shareholders, uh, CBA share, shareholders are given new shares in the new business. Why not an asset sale though? Why is this a better outcome for shareholders? Well, I think a demerger offers a couple of important benefits. Firstly, it's a clean and timely exit of all of these businesses. I think each of them are good businesses in their own right. We think the best chance for these businesses to perform uh, at their potential is outside of the Commonwealth Bank Group. And CBA shareholders will receive a proportionate interest in the demerged entity uh, relative to their CBA shareholding. And that enables them to either participate in the growth of the CFS group over time, or if should they prefer, they can also exit and sell on market. So can you just give us a sense of size, Matt, of the, of the business, the CS, CFS group? How big is it in relation to, to CBA? It's pro forma earnings in 2017, uh, a little more than $500 million of net profit after tax, approximately 2,000 employees. Matt, some of these businesses have faced reputational damage. Uh, it seems really perhaps these are businesses you don't really want to manage anymore. Uh, why should shareholders think this is going to make a difference? Well, these are some fantastic businesses. We're talking about a, a global asset management business that's performed very well, one of the leading platform businesses, financial advice and mortgage broking businesses, each in their own right, very successful businesses with very strong growth profiles. Ultimately, we believe that they will perform better outside the Commonwealth Bank Group, which will also enable CBA shareholders to participate in that improved performance. We believe that focus within the Commonwealth Bank Group will enable us to become a simpler and better bank for our customers, for our shareholders and for our people. And this transaction provides certainty and clarity over both the bank's future strategy as well as our participation in wealth management. Will, will there be going, uh, an ongoing link between the CBA and the CFS Group? Um, aside from the common shareholder group? There'll be no ownership between the Commonwealth Bank and the CFS Group when, it, when it, the demerger is complete and it's a separately listed entity. But of course, there are transitional and service arrangements that will continue to operate between the Commonwealth Bank and the CFS Group. How is Aussie Home Loans a good fit in this new group? Well, Aussie Home Loans is the leading mortgage broking franchise and we've decided to put that inside the demerge group. It is a very successful business over nearly uh, 20 years. And we believe again, that the best opportunities for growth and performance for Mozilla Home Loans is inside the CFS group rather than inside the Commonwealth Bank group. Matt, this um, announcement today may come as some surprise to, 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 uh, to the market. I mean, this appears to be a reversal of the IPO plan of uh, the CSF uh, Global Asset Management Group. Um, that I think you made uh, early on as in your CEO sort of tenure. Well, why the change? As we went through the strategy for the long term for the Commonwealth Bank, we formed a view that the best thing in CBA shareholders' view was for us to focus on our core banking businesses in Australia and New Zealand. That then left us with a decision that our wealth management business would be best demerged from the Commonwealth Bank Group. It's the best possible outcome for CBA shareholders to have a demerger so that they can participate in the performance of the CFS group. And we think this provides both the best opportunities for CFS group to perform well in and of its own right, and also for Commonwealth Bank to be focused on being a simpler and better bank for the future. There'll be a lot of um, CBA shareholders out there today wondering what this means for their dividends. Can you give any clarity around 
for those people that really rely on CBA dividends, in fact, for their, for their income? Well, of course, the, the dividend is a very important decision and at the forefront of uh, one of the core decisions for the Commonwealth Bank Board. We believe that this is a positive thing, as I said, for CBA shareholders because it will allow us to focus on our core banking businesses in Australia and New Zealand. And with a demerged and new entity in the CFS group, which will include all of these wealth management businesses, which are attractive in their own right, and will also allow CBA shareholders to participate in their performance. You talk about um, also a strategy update come August 8. Can you give us any insight at all uh, into that and, and what that looks like? Is there going to be uh, more announcements like this? Uh, is a focus on costs, uh, your digital profile? What, 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 can you, what insights can you give? Well, today's announcement is all about bringing clarity to the future of our wealth management businesses and importantly, the opportunity for Commonwealth Bank shareholders to participate in the growth of the wealth management business. At our full year results in, on the 8th of August, we'll talk a little bit more about our strategic priorities in the ongoing Commonwealth Bank group and where we'll be focusing on for growth. Matt, um, it'd be fair to say it's been a, a pretty uh, torrid start for you as CEO at CBK. Uh, you know, we, we've seen the APRA report, uh, the Austrac issue, uh, the children's savings accounts, uh, lost data tapes. Um, that you know, the hits have kept coming uh, in the last couple of months. What are you doing and how, and how confident are you in terms of the reputational repair for CBA? Well, clearly there's been some issues to deal with in the first couple of months, as you mentioned. I think today is a very important and significant step, as is also the appointment of my executive leadership team. We've dealt with a number of those issues. I think that's going to allow us to now focus on the future and of course, earning the trust of our customers and the broader community and ensuring that we're the best bank that we possibly can be going forward. Thank you, Matt. Thanks very much.